Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you a project featuring my Chevron background and the speech bubble edgy options. I'll also be using Dutch the Fox, the Winter Sentiments, the clear stamps and the soft finish cardstock. So I use it for the card and also the white part that I'm using here for the Chevron. And of course our silk microfine glitter, which is the white that you see here. So I have another sample. So this is the chevron. And then here I have a sample with the circle background, same technique. So I want to show you so the different backgrounds we have. So this is the chevron background. And then you will see it has the stitching in some of the parts and a little hole. So you can use it also as a banner. And then we have the circle background. And we have the hearts background. And then this is the, these are the speech bubbles. So you have five different speech bubbles in the set and they all match our stitch rectangles. And so you have the stitch, you have the uh, scalloped, you have the dots. So all different shapes and different edges. So they're really fun and versatile to use. And then these are the winter sentiments, wonderful set. So the one I'm using, so most of them are Christmas or for the winter. Stay warm, let it snow. And then I'm using the let's have some fun for this one. So what I have, I have a piece of, so I already cut it, but I have a piece of clear double sided adhesive and I'm using the sheets for this technique. Normally I tell people I put everything on white cardstock first. In this case, I'm just going to use the sheets. So you can use any size of sheets. And then I have a piece of white cardstock. So this is the soft finish cardstock. That's very important because you will see the texture uh, when I start inking it. And I cut the chevron already out of the tape. So that's the chevron just out of the tape sheet. And I cut this piece a little bit larger because it's hard when you just want to make it like a perfect size because it's hard to put it on perfectly straight. So I do it, I cut it a little bit uh, larger and then I just trim it to the correct size. And then I have all these pieces that came out. So these are all pieces that came out of the center and I can use them for another project, which I will show you in another video. So what I'm going to start with, so you need to be careful. So you're going to kind of lift up the corner first here and make sure you don't touch the tape itself. So don't touch the tape. So I put my finger here, but I don't touch the tape. And it's also important that I start with this particular one, that I start from the top, because you can imagine if you do it this way, if you start at the bottom, you might have trouble with those little arrow parts here. So I'm just going to roll it down a little bit already. Then I'm just going to, and I know my cardstock is a little bit longer, so I'm just going to lay it down here, press it down, and then carefully remove the rest of the liner. And this only works with more simpler shapes because if it's too intricate, the tape by itself, so if you have a very intricate die, this is a hard technique. So you can only do that with more simple shapes. So I'm going to make sure it's pressed down well everywhere. And then this is my leftover. Don't throw this out because I made some really fun cards with that as well, which will show up either on Facebook or uh, in a YouTube as well. So now I have this. So now in this case, I'm going to ink it. So I'm going to show you how to make the background. So I'm going to ink it using my distress inks. And because this is a release sheet, so that is, that is um, smooth. So I can easily work with the inks. So I'm going to start on the top with the lighter one. So I'm just going to roll in from the top and you can use any color, of course. And then you can see with the soft finish cardstock, it has a really nice texture. If you didn't use it before, you will see, um, you will see, you will really enjoy it because it has a beautiful texture and it's, it's really, really nice to use. And you can make it as dark as you want to. And I used all those colors in my project for the cards. I might skip a few here, just not to make it too long. Let me, so this was the wild honey. And then I start from the other side actually with this one. So I'm just going to kind of go into that yellow a little bit. So you get some shading going on. So circular motion. And I like to use the round tool for this one because it just, uh, you know, with the round tool, you don't get the, all the lines. A little bit of the red. This is the can, can dyed apple, can dyed apple. I hope I say that correct. Otherwise you just look it up because it will be on the project sheet as well. 
because we have a project sheet with every uh, YouTube Friday we have a project sheet as well that you can print out and you can save that and I might go back with that wild honey this was so much fun to do I made several backgrounds already and I just do some black lines but you can also you will see you can also kind of doodle in it probably what I didn't do but you can do that I think that's nice so now I have my color then I'm going to take a black pen and this is like a you know it's a any fine liner this is an extra fine from Pilot but you can use any probably so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go around and so that tape kind of leaves you an edge so I just go around all those pieces so what you need to make sure that you uh, hold your pen against the edge that you don't so don't try to do it too fast so just go around all the edges here okay so now I have uh, traced all the insides I'm just going to cut around it first so now I have this so now I'm going to take off the liner you see that now that's all sticky and then I'm going to bring in my glitter tray and you don't want to touch the sticky so just lay it down carefully and I'm just going to sprinkle that tap it off and you probably can see it on the on the camera and then I'm going to just brush this off it doesn't need to be polished in this case because white is the only one I'm using So that's it. So that's the background. Um, so you can see, and it's hard to see, but I can feel when I when I touch this, I can feel that it's a little bit higher than the cardstock itself. So that's that's the really fun thing about this. So that's the background. You see, so that's the card, and then this is the circle one. So I did it exactly the same technique, just use different colors, but I also traced all the lines uh, around the circles. So that's it for today's YouTube. I've suggested a couple of videos you might enjoy as well. Hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.